Hey, 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 hey. Welcome back, everybody, to Bad Film Good, the podcast where we took look the uh, mm, and we uh, mm, uh. <laughs> scared it up. I'm a scared. <laughs> <laughs> They're just perfect every time and seamless. And this we'll was all part one. of the thing. And then I just seamlessly say, when well, we look at poorly rated movies <laughs> and we ask the question, is this bad film good? <laughs> my my name is the Scat Man, <laughs> and I'm Skippy Bap Bap Aiden. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually Declan, but uh, today <laughs> we are looking at the film The Pacifier with Don Tur. I mean, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Uh, Vin Diesel. <laughs> but before we get into the Pacifier and all its lovely pacifying, Aiden, after that great amount of scatting, tell us what is scatting and shrekking this week. What's scatting this? Beauty about that we shrekity deep up. I'm shrekity deep up too, but this week. Um, well, what is shrekking this week is I can't remember if it was the last week or the week before, but we were looking at the top ten Shrek games. Oh, that was last week. I yeah, think, yeah, yeah. And I, I have to thank my friend Lauren for this because she sent me some some stuff about one of the games on that list and that was shrek super slam oh the best like the best one yeah, yeah. <laughs> one of, or, or one of the best ones for sure and she came across this article and it says the unlikely fan remaster of shrek super slam a game revived by memes <laughs> i thought it said me <laughs> a game revived by me i'm doing it <laughs> this is great i'm telling you believe me <laughs> So, no one would have paid attention to Shrek Super Slam if it wasn't for the internet. Even its developers at Shabba Games knew that the game they were building wasn't hit. Against all odds, Shrek Super Slam grew a niche audience that, thanks to a surge of popular Shrek memes and a loyal online following in the fighting game community. Now, one fan is remastering the 2005 fighting game at almost certain, almost entirely by himself. So Damn. this this guy, he's he is single, he's called um, Victor, and he is single handedly remastering a skin for this game. Now that's all very exciting, but what was even more exciting to me is that this yeah. has a really niche following. And people still play this game. No way. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, beneath its surface lies a surprisingly engaging fighting game that keeps its competitive nature alive. The game isn't exactly polished, but that's also part of the attraction. Broken mechanics mean players have found creative exploits to turn the game into something far more complex than it was originally meant to be. Like an <laughs> onion, Shrek Super Slam <laughs> yeah. has... Layers yeah. upon layers. Layers. <laughs> this has like led to the <laughs> <laughs> This has led to the fighting game to amass a cult following online through forums like Shrek Broad Shrek Boards, sorry. Which has Shrek a Discord board. server with <laughs> over a thousand members and a growing Amazing. community on Reddit. Tournaments are regularly held online. There's an esports section for Shrek <laughs> Which is Whoa! amazing, and then I got I then got sent some reviews for Shrek Super Slam, which I thought were funny. So one, these are both on Amazon, by the way. If you wanted to buy Shrek Super Slam, the game, it says five I mean, stars. They got my money. It, five stars, masterpiece, perfect graphics, amazing story, fun crafting, intense action, better competitive game than Melee. And then this one <laughs> says, It was ogre my MLG limit. <laughs> uh, only buy if you're running low on onions. Uh... Uh, Shrek came to my house when I played this and told me that I was ogre at the recommended age to play this MLG game. Uh, when he arrived, he crushed why? my Mountain Dew and Doritos, and I had to buy him onions or he wouldn't leave. If you think COD is for babies and want a real ogre's game, then this, uh, then this 
the MLG Dootastic Adventure you've been waiting for, my lad. If you disagree, fight me and your nearest Tesco. <laughs> okay, that's funny. Yeah. So yeah, I just thought it was funny that this uh, we laughed about it last week. It was like, oh, this fucking stupid random. Yeah, I was game. like, I want to see this Shrek. <laughs> People still yeah. play it. Amazing. Yeah. So that is what's Shreking this week. Skibbity bap bap boo. Skibbity dap that. That's how we're gonna transition between <laughs> each section. We'd be like, Shrekking's done. Skibbity dap yeah. bap. <laughs> now we talk about what's going on in the film. But uh, but yeah, I mean, uh, skibbity dap. But but uh, this week, <laughs> like I said, we're looking at the pacifier. Um, sort of inspired because I mean, you know, last week we looked at. The Spy Next Door, which came out a good five years after, I think, yeah. this uh, this one. But it's a very similar kind of concept, you know. I mean, Spy Next Door was a spy, but this is, um, this is, a vague... this is Vin Diesel yeah, in, yeah. <laughs> in a vague kind of... Well, he's a seal. I mean, he kind of points that out a couple of times. We'll talk about that. But yeah, I mean, the we watched this on Disney+, Plus because it is mm-hmm. a Disney film from back when Disney were doing all those kind of... Weird and wacky. Is the Shaggy Dog a Disney film, or is that something else? Because it, it seems like that sort of... Do you remember that one with Tim... The Shaggy um, Dog. Oh, uh, what's his? What's his? Tim Allen, where he like turns it. He gets like uh, some infected with something, and he would definitely do that as one of these. Episodes. I'm sure that's probably got a low <laughs> score on stuff. But it's like he basically turns into a dog. Like, <laughs> have you not seen no. this? Is like normal for me in my childhood. Yeah, <laughs> just, uh, it's just Tim, Tim this Allen. Thing. He like, like he turns you know, into a dog. <laughs> you know the film that has Tim Allen and he turns into a Shaggy Dog. You know the one. He does. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll have to. We'll add it to the list. Yeah, I've definitely never, have a look I've never heard of that, but I'm quite excited. But it's that kind of era of like those sorts yeah, of yeah. films. I don't know how to describe it really. It's just that kind of 2000s era of films. Yeah, so so we watch this on Disney Plus because that's on there now. I guess cause that's Disney Star thing probably yeah. or something. But Disney Plus described it as being a super tough Navy SEAL agrees to take care of a scientist's family only to discover that from diapers to curfews, this is his toughest mission yet. <laughs> is it really though? <laughs> no. I mean, to be fair, seeing how he handles the, the mission at the very beginning. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Wipe the floor with those people. <laughs> but, um, but give us a, go ahead and give us a summary Aiden, of, of the lovely yes. things that happened. Yeah. Yeah. Well. So, <laughs> so basically Vin Diesel is on a Fast and Furious mission to save a doctor. But then the doctor dies. So because family means everything, he goes to look after the widow and her kids. The widow goes to a funeral, obviously for the dad. So they get the US Navy SEAL to look after the kids because there's evil foreign people trying to break in and steal the (laughs) Krabby Patty secret formula. So Vin (laughs) Diesel decides to try the... (laughs) (laughs) Um, so Vin Diesel decides to train the kids into becoming soldiers because that's what family would do the nanny then gets murdered by the kids so Vin Diesel has to look after them they don't get along as you can expect but then two ninjas attack the house and Vin Diesel beats them up so they all start getting along but then the boy kid decides he wants to become a neo-nazi so Vin Diesel pushes (laughs) him pushes him into Sing, song and dance instead. Oh, God. <laughs> struggled through that bit. <laughs> oh, yeah, I might do that again. I mean, you could keep it. It'd be funny. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe cut out the bit with you saying that and me saying, uh, no, it's yeah. just more work. <laughs> the end of the day. I'll leave all of it in. I'll leave this whole thing in. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Where was I? Neo Nazis. <laughs> yeah, neo Nazis. Vin, Vin Diesel uses the power of family and they all get along. The mum comes home and then they get attacked by their neighbours because they're actually foreign spies. They get captured, but then the kid uses power of family and he escapes and gets help. <laughs> Vin Diesel beats some people up and then he celebrates by banging the school principal and performing yeah. the sound of music. I had to get some banging in there. It was some yeah, banging. It has to be at least a <laughs> family film or no. Somebody has to be banging somebody. <laughs> Someone has to be banging motto. somebody. Every... 
<laughs> or like we just have a million, whereas normally you'd have like, you know, the name of the podcast and then underneath one little slogan, but it's just like filled with all of our slogans, like bad is better. Someone's always banging somebody. The story doesn't matter. It's just like a whole paragraph. It's like a, a whole paragraph. Of it, like that, um, that inspire about quote you saw once. Where it was <laughs> yeah, all yeah, full it was of writing. Of text, yeah. Yeah. A few brief facts about the film. So it was made in 2005, as we said. It was directed by Adam Shankman. Stars Dom Toretto, Britney Snow, <laughs> and Faithful. You say Britney Spears. Britney Spears. <laughs> just throw in random people. <laughs> oh my god, we need to do that for the cast list for yeah. now. And we just put just in random, put people. random people. Like yeah. Steve Buscemi's always in there somewhere. Steve Buscemi. <laughs> Yeah. How do you do, fellow kids? <laughs> <laughs> it had a budget of fifty-six million, but it made just over a hundred and ninety-eight million people. Oh wow! Loved this film. Yeah. But even so, five point six IMDb, twenty-one percent so Rotten Tomatoes, bad, but, and only but that's rough. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Thirty thirty metal crickets liked this, so that's not good. But yeah. Look, yeah. if I'm Dominic Toretto and I want you to make a film that embodies family, <laughs> <laughs> and I've only got 56 million to make it, what have you got for me? See, I feel like you've already made this joke a bunch of times, so it won't have so much impact. But all I have for the pitch to be this is just <clears throat> family. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, it's like fucking. What was it? Dom Toretto, like, sat sat in an executive's meeting. He's like, sort of twiddling a pen. He's not interested. He's get. He's got like forty pitches a day to get through. He's, he's not. There. He's, and then you he's just got all of these, all of these, like, you know, suited, balding, <laughs> middle aged, yeah, yeah. like white guys, kind of sweating around him. Like, okay, you know. I don't know. He's he's. What's he gonna pitch? Like we've got to we've got to see whether this is gonna be good or not. I don't really know. I don't want to say no to this guy. Yeah. <laughs> just walks in. He's like firmly. <laughs> he just lay. He just puts the script down. Doesn't have anything else. He just go looks at them all. Just kind of you know each person in turn, and then he just stands up and he looks out the window and he just goes family. And then it's like the fucking. Uh, Whatever that oh! song is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> just starts. There's no speaking. Like, yeah, just emanates like, where, from him. Where, are they, where is that coming from? <laughs> I guess we have to give him money. Is and it... he just slowly walks out of the room to the music <laughs> playing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right should we get into the film <laughs> let's let's skibbity da doop da 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 da. <laughs> the film skibbity but <laughs> some skibbity da dumb, dumb, dumb shit yeah. skibbity dumb shit <laughs> <laughs> um right so yeah i mean right off the bat this is this is great in this film because we start off with like the classic Again, like military operation, you've got the you've got the military drums like ding 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 ding, ding, ding and you're like, oh, this is a this is some top secret military thing that's happening right now. You have like the 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 military version of the Disney theme, you know, you yeah, got the yeah, castle yeah, yeah. and like whatever, but it's like it's like a darker military version. I was like, ooh, <laughs> Disney's at war, <laughs> you know. This is them go. Oh god, topical. This is them going into um, into court with Scarlett. <laughs> yeah, yeah, her, yeah. Over her yeah. suing them, which obviously you know, good luck to her. Hope she wins. But this is this is Disney at war. But <laughs> but we're kind of introduced to Vin Diesel's character. I think it's called Shane, right? I mean, he's just Vin yes. Vin Diesel. He's just Diesel. Is how I put him. Diesel. Either in either in Vin notes. Diesel or Dominic Toretto. I've written. Yeah, both or Dom Toretto. Yeah, yeah. And <laughs> Sort of chops and changes. Yeah. But so we're introduced to him and his like team that we learn are like Navy SEALs. Yeah. And I don't know. It's like they do that thing where they explain why they're there. They're there to stop <laughs> some dude for some reason because of something. But you just gloss over it because you're like, I get it. They're going to go like sneak up on a thing and do a thing. So then that's what they do. They go up to this boat. They fucking kill everyone they just throw some <laughs> grenades on the boat and blow everyone up and and he's just like 
because <laughs> he, he says to them beforehand before they all like they're suiting up uh and they're ready to like have, they've got these like mini motorized kind of jet things the scuba uh, diving scuba thing, scuba, yeah. scuba diving kind of jet things <laughs> and he's giving them this pep talk and he's like we are seals and this is what we do <laughs> I was like, "What is what? <laughs> what? What? What do you mean?" So I, 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 I thought you were gonna say in that pep talk, he says yes. he goes like, "All right, men, I know we've been awake for seventy two hours," <laughs> <laughs> and I looked it up, and a person who has not slept for seventy two hours can face some weird experiences. They may visualize <laughs> illusions, hallucinations, <laughs> tremors, um, yeah. false memories, and muscle aches. Not sleeping for 72 hours can affect your concentration, percep- perception, sorry, uh, Percep- and, other precipitation. Hi- <laughs> and hi- other high mental processes. So basically, this entire film, Vin Diesel's like hallucinating. Yeah, he's like he's going around drunk, that. like drunk on sleep. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just he's like, we are seals, <laughs> and this is what we do. And he starts like shooting random people. It's like, oh, yeah. he's like, we are seals. He's just talking to a bunch of rocks. There's no one else there. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a Wilson basketball yeah, whatever, yeah. or pineapple, whatever it was. But so, so with with going in with the with the mindset that all of this is a. <laughs> Lack of sleep, fever dream for for him <laughs> makes a lot uh, more. It, it makes a lot more sense, right? <laughs> it makes a lot more sense. Yeah. So, so going in with that mindset, we then see, you know, them kind of undergoing this operation to rescue uh, this scientist that's on one of these boats. Vin Diesel has like a, a jet ski fight where there's a bunch of jet skis after him, and he's on a jet ski, and then he and then he kind of he he does this thing where he kind of does like a drift so that he. It obscures their view, and then one guy just goes yeah. flying off of his jet ski for kind of no reason, and he's he's just kind of getting rid of all the people chasing him in weird ways that weren't really like it's not <laughs> like he was just shooting them and they were falling. He was like, oh, they hit this wave because yeah. they couldn't see, and so he goes flying off his jet ski like, oh, <laughs> you know the fucking Wilhelm scream. I don't think they used that, but actually they should have because oh, it might, should be they, in yeah, everything. Yeah. <laughs> and then he does the unnecessary like. He, he drives the jet ski onto the remaining boat and like, like it jumps off of it and does a roll into into a standing up and kind of carries on walking like, we are seals. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we do. <laughs> I'm so tired. Yeah, he's like, he thinks he's done this roll, but to everyone else, he just fucking <laughs> hit the ground and he's just lying there on his, like face down. It's like a pool of blood coming out of his nose. <laughs> And he said, he's, he's in the floor. He's in the floor, like, we have a seal. <laughs> this is what we do. No, it's like, <laughs> they're still on the beach, and he's just sat on a jet ski, like, on the sand, and he's just going, like, rim, nah, 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 nah. Yeah. <laughs> he's going, like, meow, meow. Yeah. he's like, leaning side to side. <laughs> they're like, sir? Sir? And the, the other one's just like, just leave him. We'll, we'll do it without yeah. <laughs> Because his team as well, he they're called like Red One, Two, which comes back later. But yeah. his team are called Red One, Two, Three, whatever. But I thought he was calling them Rick. <laughs> I thought he was just like Rick One, Two, and Three. That just that's he's just hallucinating that much. He just calls them all Rick. It's like hey, three uh, of the uh, same Rick. guy. Yeah, <laughs> they've all got the same face yeah. to him. <laughs> yeah, then like he's like. Listen, man. I know we've been awake for seventy-two hours. And they're like, "What? We we haven't." They're like, we, no, you have. Been, yeah, we've been sleeping. I don't know why you've been chosen to stay up for seventy-two hours. We've been off for the past week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is his first day back. It was on holiday. He was just like laying there awake. <laughs> oh. So then, once we're done with all the jet skiing and the uh, the the hallucinating, Don Toretto slash Vin Diesel slash Shane, whatever you want to call him, <laughs> is getting the scientist onto the helicopter, and he's like, oh, "I need to get you back to this," and blah blah blah. And the scientist, well, I don't know why he did it. I don't remember why he was. Like, oh no, he wanted. He was like, "Oh, can I call my wife? I'll be like two seconds." Although I don't really know why, because he surely could also just do that on the helicopter. That's what I would be a bit loud. Like, yeah, yeah. He could just text her. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I mean, she thinks he's dead. I know it's a bit of a thing, but he was just like. Oh, can I just call her quick? I'll be two minutes. And he's like, okay, like two minutes. <laughs> if it's for family. 
Yeah, he literally, he was like, but it's my family. And then the yeah. music starts. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and he's just like staring out of the helicopter if off into the distance and he's like okay fine you have two minutes <laughs> but when he gets him out of the boat he says and, and this keeps coming up he's like oh maybe it's at that point I can't remember he's like I gotta call my wife and he's like no I'm getting you out of here, here. no highway and that's like his catchphrase he keeps yeah, saying like, like throughout the film he's like my way not the highway or whatever but he, say, he doesn't even say that. He goes, my way, no highway. Because I guess they're not <laughs> they're not allowed to say not the highway or something. I, I... It's just his like military, you know, efficient speak. It's like, what is that? My way, <laughs> no highway. Like, imagine if you met someone in real life and they themselves had a catchphrase. You'd be like, yeah. just fucking stop with that. We're, at, we're meant to be having a nice meal out together. So stop, say, stop saying things as no highway. <laughs> it's like we're just trying to eat food. He turns <laughs> to the waiter and he's just like, I want I want this salad without any without any onions. Yeah. No highway. <laughs> it's just like, oh, I'm sorry about him. He keeps yeah, saying no highway. He just he, thinks he's in a movie. <laughs> he hasn't slept in weeks. I want this. I want some mayo <laughs> with these chips. That's my way. And no then he just highway. like looks at him deep in his eyes and he's like, no, no highway. highway. <laughs> 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 As the waiter walks away. It's like, <laughs> uh, but um, yes, yeah, so, I mean, the scientist takes out it, his briefcase is literally empty apart from his phone and a photo the photo being of his family. It's kind of weird. I don't really know what that <laughs> yeah. was supposed to be. I mean, maybe there was a hidden compartment in it, but like, that was it. And um, he's kind of like, oh, look, here's my family. And then it was like, oh, nice. And then Vin Diesel was getting ready to, he kind of goes off and does his thing, comes back. He's got to tell him to, to get back in the helicopter and be ready. But we only see it from like the side view inside the helicopter. Vin Diesel comes back and he looks out the doorway and then he gets shot. <laughs> But it's so kind of, and I, I know it's because it's like it's a kid's film, whatever, so it's not going to be too, like, brutal. But he kind of gets, you hear, like, a shot, and he kind of goes flying backwards against the thing, and then it just, like, cuts to, I don't know if it cuts straight to it or if there's a little bit in between, I don't know. But he just, then it, it's just them, him, walking out of the hospital, talking to a doctor, and the doctor was like, oh, wow, you've you've had to take some time to heal from that bullet that you got shot with. Yeah, yeah. And then he's like, yeah, I took too long, but now I'm okay after I got shot by that <laughs> bullet that I got shot with. <laughs> it's been two months' time, yeah. and I still don't forgive myself for getting shot with that bullet and not saving the, the yeah, scientist yeah, it, who I, got I, shot I also with another bullet. And also, the, the scientist is dead. He's dead now, <laughs> yeah. by the way. By the way, he's dead. But then that's obviously the reason why... They're like, okay, well, the stuff that the scientist was hiding, they think that it's still, uh, it, like, it's in his house because it's called Ghost. Yeah, it's like yeah. this. It, again, it's one of those things where they, they only once mention what it is and what it does because it doesn't matter. It's just the MacGuffin. <laughs> it's such a it's plot device. It's just the point yeah. of, like, it's such a plot device. It's like, this is the science thing that, that people want. And it's like, uh, you know, I'm not even going to tell you what Ghost is because it doesn't matter. Yeah. It's just... <laughs> <laughs> I can't even cool remember. Ghost. They want it. I'll tell you afterwards. <laughs> I won't give the viewers the satisfaction. I need to, the, the listeners, the, I need to. I, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna tell them, and then they can, they can watch the film themselves yeah. if they really want to know. <laughs> it just. It literally doesn't matter that much at all. That I could just. I'm not gonna say what it is. So, um, so he has to go keep tabs on the family and look after them while they figure out where this ghost program thing is, and it's like. But I, I get the whole thing of he's an he's a he's a military man, so he isn't used to the to the luxuries of of regular kind of life, and he's used to 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 hiking in harsh terrains and 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 camping on base and all yeah that yeah yeah shit. But it's like it's like he's never seen a normal garden before <laughs> because he walks up to this house and he like steps on a on one of those little trolls with the with the pink yeah, kind of sticky yeah. up hair. And he's looking at it like, what the fuck is this? And he like throws it away. And he starts walking up the path and all the sprinklers go off. And he's like, oh, he gets like PTSD and flashbacks or something. <laughs> he's just suddenly like, oh, oh, what is this? And he's like trying to move around them and stuff. Just the way he reacts is like, it's supposed to kind of be like, ha ha. Oh, he's out of his element. He yeah, yeah, what he's doing. Yeah. But I was like, 
What? So I mean, he's been on. He's been on mission for like the past. Yeah, he's like what thirty years. I was born on the mission. <laughs> this has been a thirty-five-year-old mission. I know nothing but the military. <laughs> it's the it's the only family I've got. <laughs> <laughs> it, we'll get to it near the end. Like he 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 says some quite funny stuff similar to that. <laughs> yeah, because the whole the whole thing is like that's all just like the setup. To be like, for some reason, instead of, instead of, you know, we think that the plot device is in your house, so we'll put you into witness and protection. Comb the house. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're going to comb the house. We're going to try and find the, the it. The wife knows. The wife knows because she goes to Switzerland to get the key or something. That's like a yeah. Random that's like a special film. Again, I I don't remember them saying. That, that's what she was going to do, but it was probably just said in passing because it yeah, doesn't matter. Yeah, it's just yeah, a reason literally. for her not to be there. Yeah. Uh, they go into some like big safe bank place or something to get the. Yeah. Yeah. Key. Yeah. Uh, and the MacGuffin's like, MacGuffin. Yeah. So uh, she's gone. She's gone to get the key. And instead of being like, we're going to move the kids to a safe location, you're going to be moving. This is going to be a new life. Sorry about this, but, uh, you know, this is a national security <laughs> thing. Blah, and blah, blah, blah. we know that they know <laughs> that it's probably yeah. in the house. Yeah. So we, we're we going to move you away from this house that we know is definitely a danger zone. In yeah, fact, they yeah. know that, like, they've said, oh, there's been people creeping around the house recently, which yeah. not, doesn't end up being them, but, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, they've clearly made, they've made it very clear, like, this is a danger zone, yeah. so we're, we're just going to send in yeah, we're not, Don Toretto. We're not going to we're not going to put borders around and twenty four hour military watch. You know, we've got to keep on the down low. So we're going to send this, uh, like, just from back from injury. Never, yeah, literally just been <laughs> shot, just recovered from being shot. <laughs> yeah, no, that clear, doesn't know what a garden is. This fucking military man to look after your children, your young children that have never met this man he doesn't have any experience in looking after children but don't worry about it it'll be fine <laughs> yeah because like, i think what she, is that cause she because she's there to begin with and then she she's like oh i've got to go off to oh no no i oh, see i'm getting confused with spy next door now because <laughs> they're just the same kind of like it's the same know, it's just concept the same, yeah. But yeah, no, so yeah, she, of course, he's introduced to them and she's literally like, cool, bye. Yeah, yeah, literally, like, the fuck is that? Yeah. It's so funny, that bit as well, because when he walks up to the door, it's like the first time he's introduced to the kids, right? Because she's like, oh, kids, you're going to be looked after by a military man for some reason. Yeah. And he, like, opens the door and it's like, it might be the youngest one or, or so. it was one of the kids. She opens the door and just, like, Sees, sees Vin Diesel and screams, which I yeah. thought was quite funny. Just like this weird, like young but old, muscular but fat, weird man. I, I don't know. Vin Diesel's such <laughs> an odd man. Like he's both really attractive and really ugly at the same time. <laughs> he's just very odd. He's just an absolute unit. He's I, is he. It, but or is he just <laughs> overweight? I I can't tell you. I just love the you know the fat and curious meme where it's him, but he just looks really fat and he's like peering over a balcony. Yeah, and it's just got fat and curious <laughs> on it. And then he, he he like responded to that. He's like, oh, it's just the angle. And he's like, it's just family. <laughs> it's what happens when you get a family. Yeah. God, I'm so tired. I haven't slept in 72 hours. <laughs> it's, it's always 72 hours yeah. as well. Yeah. No matter when he speaks to somebody. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, and the funny thing is, again, this is another one of those films where I saw it when I was younger. And I definitely saw this one, I think, more than I saw Spy Next Door. Because there were literally, like, quotes that... You know, sometimes when you've watched stuff when you were really young and the quote is so b burned into your brain that you, not only do you know what the words are, you know, you recognize like the pitch and the the way that they're said, like the, almost the kind of feel yeah, of the situation yeah. around it. And I had that kind of weird, God, like nostalgia so wall that hit me like a couple of times with this film. Yeah. <laughs> One of them being when the mum is introducing all the kids and stuff. And she's like, these are the kids, blah, blah, blah. And the youngest, like the, the baby is with 
their nanny, who is a very strange woman who's like, I mean, she looks like she's been, she's at the end of her tether having to look after these kids, whatever. She's like pale as a sheet and she's got shit all over her and she looks like an absolute mess. And she's like, is she like, is she like Russian or something? She, she's yeah, like Eastern European. Like, yeah, like you're from the old country, you know, that yeah, sort of so shit. It, so, and she's like pointing to the baby. She's like, this is Tyler and says, this is Helga looking after him. And Vin, Vin Don Toretto, Don, Don Diesel is what we're going to call Don him. Don Diesel, yeah. Don Diesel just goes, ma'am, <laughs> baby, baby. Wait, he goes, ma'am, baby. <laughs> and like, like, just those two words. I had to pause it when that happened. And I, I, I wrote down the notes like, I remember that quote, just <laughs> specifically the way he like nods to both of them. He's like, ma'am, baby. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I remember this. And oh, then the so and then Helga gets puked on by the baby, like because she's just like, oh, it's a nice, uh, gonna have fun with the baby, and then the baby just goes, Bleh! and it's just like a massive. It's again because the baby's facing away from the camera. It's like yeah, yeah, a very yeah. fake thing. She just gets like Bleh! massive uh, throw up just on her. Nobody says anything. She just kind of goes, oh, and then leaves, and then everyone's like. Okay, carry on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we we've seen that a hundred times. You know, this go clean yourself up. Made. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah. So like, it's like that's a, that's a whole setup, right? They just go through. It's like man, military, woman, gone, yeah, children. Yeah, look after children. Hotel. Yeah, Tobago. <laughs> <laughs> because they yeah because they're kind of he's being introduced to the thing. I mean. The mum leaves then and says goodbye to everyone, and then Vin Diesel's walking around, and he's like he's setting got, like, up the kid in the Superman cape, uh, Peter, I think. He's like, he's just stood in his nappy and his and a Superman cape in the middle of the fish tank, and like all the kids <laughs> are just doing like crazy shit. Somehow, the, the thing is, with his character in the, with. Uh, I, I, I keep changing which name I use for him. It doesn't it's matter. Shane. I was about to say Shane's <laughs> character. When Don Toretto, when Don Diesel in this, <laughs> he's supposed to be like a highly trained Navy SEAL, like military man. But there are so many things that happen. I'm like, he should have seen that. Like <laughs> yeah, his, his spatial yeah. awareness. Like he should have seen this. Cause the, I think the, the duck, whatever they call the duck, I don't remember the name. Like he's talking to, one of the kids or something, and then the duck suddenly, like, bites. It's, like, suddenly on the counter with him, and it, like, bites him. And he's like, ah, oh, the duck's kind of, like, attacking him. And I was just like, he would, surely he would just be, like, aware of this kind of stuff anyway, because it was right in front of him. There's, there's just a few things like that. I can't remember. We'll, we'll find them as we go along, but yeah, I'm just... On that, yeah. Mr. Military Man. I, I kind of forgot. They have a pet duck. Yeah. Like, is that ever... That's another weird... I guess that's why they exchanged that for the pet pig in Spy Next Door, because <laughs> yeah, they just have, like, a weird... But, yeah, they just have a duck that just chills around the is house. Is it ever explained, like, why they have a pet... Or do they just have a pet duck and everyone's like, yeah, this is normal? They just have a... Yeah, they just have a pet <laughs> duck. That's all so it is. stupid. Oh, uh, good. But then, yeah, so, like, he's... We get, like, the first... Because he sets up all the... He goes around, he's like, oh, I've got motion sensors and cameras um, doing the thing that Jackie Chan did but more like around <laughs> the house yeah yeah and he goes straight to that as well whereas Jackie Chan was like oh I've got to have to yeah yeah I've got to have to do something to do you know I find this a bit difficult Vin Diesel was just like no I gotta protect the family <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, these cameras are for family <laughs> but he goes like so he sets up sh like motion trackings and stuff and then someone tries to break in and all these sirens goes off and it turns out it's the oldest girl's boyfriend or something he's like oh yeah. are you punk Get out trying of to here. climb up to her room whatever. Yeah, yeah yeah and then uh the neighbors who are from korea so they start shouting in korean because there's like these fucking massive sirens going off like boo, 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 like yeah, lights yeah. flashing and then fucking Vin Diesel tries to speak some Korean, be like, oh, everything's fine. Move along. And they're like, yeah, we speak English. Turn your fucking sirens on. What the yeah. fuck are you doing? <laughs> yeah. Like, it's it's so late. What? Why? Why have you done yeah. it? Like, and why is there speakers outside for the, for the alarm? Like, just... Yeah, true. Like, 
what are you fucking I'll, yeah, doing? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Because they, I, I note that down because I thought that was so funny. Just the way they're shouting. Either I don't know if they're talking to each other or they're shouting at them in Korean, like angrily, yeah, you know, yeah. having a go. So then he responds to them in Korean to say everything's fine, and then the guy's like, "Yeah, we speak English, buddy." <laughs> We speak English, buddy. It's like a perfect American accent. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He's like, yeah, come on. We speak English, buddy. Yeah. (laughs) Hey, pal. We speak English. (laughs) That's not your guy. You're not that guy. Hey, Hey, come on. Goose go. (laughs) (laughs) Come on. We speak English, buddy. (laughs) We speak squirrel. (laughs) Hey, Peter. Ah, yeah. (laughs) Hey, Peter. Turn off that siren. It's all family. We speak uh, English, guy. Hey, come on, guy. Hey, come we on. speak English. You're not that guy. <laughs> You're not that guy. You're not that guy, pal. <laughs> yeah, but I just the way he's, the way he just one eighty, I thought was quite funny. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Like you know? just stupid. There's a lot of moments in this where you're like, <laughs> that's funny, but also just fucking stupid. Yeah, I, but like very kind of. It's a very standard kind of film. Like there's, yeah, there's nothing yeah. that's like really that surprising or anything. It goes exactly the way you think it will, and and whatever. But there's some good kind of like, there's definitely good like moments and good kind of funny bits. Even if it's not meant to be that funny, like it's still quite yeah, yeah. You kind of laugh at it a bit. Um, like uh, he kind of decides to go military on the on the kids and everything because he walks around with his hands behind his back, he's just a military <laughs> yeah. man, you know. And he's like, right, these these. I think he says when it's all chaos, like in that scene before the alarms go off to the housekeeper, Helga, he's like, everybody here lacks, dis- needs discipline or something. Or like, nobody here has any discipline. Yeah, She's yeah. like, well, what the fuck do you want to do about it? You know, <laughs> I don't want to, what the, what the fuck do you want to do about it? Huh? <laughs> oh, She's... oh, <laughs> she's not from Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> she's just yeah she's saying all this so then he starts he kind of starts this uh this regime then where he wakes them up at 6 a.m and the oldest kid is like oh what the fuck is 6 a.m i'm not getting out of bed so he just walks up to the bed and flips the whole mattress with the kid on it like off the bed and he's like get up <laughs> <laughs> yeah it keeps it keeps doing that shit as well like later on i think it's the same kid he's like Meeting downstairs. That, that was my dumb. That was what my, was that? <laughs> I, was, uh, yeah, I don't know. Family. Family. Uh, what are important to me? There's one big thing more important than life, and that's family. Man. <laughs> um, yeah, he's like, fucking, everyone get downstairs. Family meeting. Uh, I'm going to do some fucking military. And then the, the that same kid is like, yeah, I'm going upstairs. And then he's like, mm. Everyone must be in the meeting! And he's, like, trying to find where this kid's run off to. He's, like, running around the house. And he's, like, in the toilet. So instead of, like... he, I think he might, he might knock once or something. Yeah, he, like, knocks on the door and doesn't get response yeah. from him. Like, on his, on his bedroom door, because he doesn't know he's not there. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, that's it, that's it. And he just fucking... He, like, knocks on the door, doesn't get a response... So he just fucking kicks down the door. Like a strong kick. Yeah, as yeah. Well. Like a, yeah. It's like a boom. And then the kid Splits comes out of the, the toilet and he's like, what What the fuck are you. Why? Yeah. <laughs> he's like, why the fuck would you do that? And he's like, oh, just give me a couple of nails. I'll, yeah, I'll yeah. fix that door right up. And he's like, the door is in half. <laughs> <laughs> he's like it's real easy I'll, I'll fix it I've done it I did it before with my family yeah <laughs> <laughs> anything family is the glue that holds this door together <laughs> it's just like Vin Diesel has no chill in this he's like military family uh, kick down yeah. the door cause like oh it's so early I'm not used to waking up at 6am uh, flip him off the mattress yeah he's like doing research on the um doing like background checks on Helga the housekeeper but he's just doing like one arm push ups <laughs> with like his one foot on each like chair while he's looking at the the laptop he'll like push himself up and then types a couple things and puts his arm behind his back again and he's like doing a doing one arm push up just like <laughs> just like bro what are you doing like, chill the fuck <laughs> yeah, out yeah 
Do do it another time. <laughs> do some push ups and then do some research. You don't have to multitask. Yeah, all the time like, in the world. Efficiency, military <laughs> man. But it's a, it introduced to the whole family dynamic and whatever, and then of course they've all got to go to school. It's the whole kind of normal routine. You have the crazy where they're all going to be late, and then he's like, "I'm never late for family." And then he just like fast and furious is the car, fucking speeds all the way there, and then does like a <laughs> parallel parking kind of swing he just kind of bra- like handbrake <laughs> swings the car round so that it just parks yeah. up perfectly 180 this is literally like themselves. this is literally the fast and furious 10 like yeah. this is the latest fast and furious film that's going to come out no i've got i've got i've got a theory that uh that i'll put forward when we get to the to the point in the story towards the end that this is a prequel Oh, okay. Furious films. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm excited for that. <laughs> so we'll we'll get to that. But yeah, it's definitely. Like, <laughs> I'm sure. I I don't remember when the fir- when he first. He was he was in it from the beginning, right? Was he the first one? I've seen the first one, but I don't remember. Uh, much. I think he's in like the first one, and then he he's not in the second one. But then he comes back. Ah, fucking. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know which. <laughs> I don't know we'll what came the, first. But yeah, maybe we'll do the Fast and Furious films at one point. But, yeah. yeah, yeah, depends which, I suppose, what they, yeah, we could do that. But anyway, yeah, he, he, he kind of parks up and they have to, they said, you know, they've got to be there on time, they can't be late again. And you're kind of introduced to the weird, creepy <laughs> vice principal who's kind of watching the clock, waiting to see if they're going to be late. And then obviously they just make it on time or whatever. Yeah. But, but he's like the creepy vice principal who's also uh, in charge of the wrestling club or something. And he likes to just kind of wrestle kids and and be manly. It's kind of weird because then he's obsessing over Vin Diesel's pecs and stuff. He's just making yeah. all sorts of strange so, comments. He's so odd. Like he, it, I think she says... Just creepy vibes from him. Yeah. And I think in the principal comes in, eventually Vin Diesel bangs her because she she used to be part of the military or something. I oh yeah, so he sees that he's like military is my family. And yeah. she turns up and she's like, "I'm part of the military," and he's like, mm, "You're yeah. part of my family. <laughs> you want to be part of my family." <laughs> but she's like, "I think she said because he's like, why don't you just fire him?" And she's like, "Oh, he has tenure, so we can't yeah. fire him." But when it gets to a point where this creepy guy is obs- like obsessing over a single student. Wants to like wrestle him, be like such bully a, him as well. Bully like, him, bu- really wrestle bully him, the shit out of him. What's the fucking shower with him? I don't know, <laughs> but like <laughs> probably they get up to a point where tenure doesn't cut it. Like surely, yeah. at what point are you like? I know you have tenure, but you fucking you're fucking fired. Up, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Stop bullying kids, man. You yeah, piece of such shit. Such a fucking weirdo. But yeah, and he's he's got. Uh, Don Diesel puts these <laughs> tracking bracelets on these really awkward, massive, clunky tra- tracking <laughs> bracelets on all the kids. And then he's, um, I remember what he's, isn't he like, he's, he's sat cause he's like talking to the principal again. Cause he's sat with the baby, the <laughs> baby, he sat with the baby in the, in the kind of outside bit of the school. And he's got his binoculars and he's literally just watching and keeping an eye on all the kids in their different classrooms, which is to, again, just kind of weird. Like, just this guy sat in the yeah, literally in the, on the grounds of the school, staring at, like, in the windows with binoculars. Who are you? Like, yeah. what the fuck? <laughs> but the um, principal goes and talks to him, and then the one of the tracker alarm beeping things goes off, and he just gives her the baby, and he's like, "Look after this baby. I need to go <laughs> after family." And then he, he drives off trying to trying to chase the tracking thing and it turns out you know they'd put it in they'd flushed it or something it yeah, went into yeah. the sewer system and he had he kind of had to dump into it to jump into a huge vat of like sewage like shit and all this kind of stuff to pick up a tracking thing that had a note attached to it saying ha ha and that's another iconic quote for me iconic moment quote where uh he comes back home i think they because he was out for so long that the principal had to take all of the kids home, I guess. Like, for somebody who's charged in, in looking after the kids, he just leaves them. Like, leaves them with the principal, <laughs> yeah. and then the principal takes them home. Yeah, because he, he, yeah, he walks in later on, he's just covered in shit. Just covered. It's like squelchy. Yeah. He's covered in shit, head to toe. And he's holding the thing, and 
the quote is when he looks up at them and he goes, ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> the way he says it is yeah, like, so like, weird. Ha ha. <laughs> ha, ha. But that, because it, because that's all it says on the note. But that bit is so weird to me. Like, because it, he's a trained military man, so he's not an idiot, right? Yeah. And so he gets this little tracking thing and he's like, whoa, they're going so fast. And then they like, Stop. But they're not right in front of me on the street. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, okay, sure, whatever. And then at the point where it stops and he gets to the sewer, would you not, first of all, be like, I see what's happened here. My I can mistake. See in the water, there's yeah. no like thrashing of a body yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They flushed it. And like, at that point, why would you get in? Just accept defeat, man. Like, yeah, why? no, but he can't. He's a military yeah. man. <laughs> why? Why get in the shit? He just, Bit of duty water. Uh, fucking, it's horrible. It's like brown. Like, if it, it's the, it's a good effect because you can like smell how foul it smells without being. Yeah. There. It's, it looks awful. And you're like, you know, they're not in there. Just leave it, man. Just go, go, go back and tell them off. Get some more yeah. trackers from the military. Like, I'm sure they've got some more. Just fucking don't. Don't jump in. Oh, God, no. Oh, oh he's doing God, it. Yeah, he's doing it. Oh. <laughs> ha, ha. Like, fucking hell. <laughs> oh, it's brilliant. I think from there, it's that kind of thing where he spends a bit of time with each of them, right? Yeah, it's like, the classic they, they kind thing. of extended yeah, 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 kind of... Because yeah. they have it in, in Spinal Store, but they do it a lot better in this one, I think, because he actually... It develops on it a bit more. Like, he actually spends... There's more time spent with each thing, so he's come back down after showering all the poop off of him, <laughs> and uh, there's a bunch of giggly, like, Girl Scouts all looking at him, and he's, like, trying to hide his nipples, like, ooh, <laughs> being really kind of... Worked out. That that bit's and, quite funny, yeah. Which is quite funny, yeah. And the um little girl that's actually part of the family that has invited her friends over for the thing, he speaks to her and she's like, Oh, but it's it's what are they called? Fireflies? So she's like, Oh, it's fireflies uh night and we do it on these days of the week and we've got to go and sell some cookies and stuff and he's like, Okay, fine. And he goes into military mode and he's like, uh, you know, since the absence of your mother, who would be the den mother <laughs> I am I am now the dead mother, yeah. and you you know you will obey me. Yeah, yeah. And if you want to sell these cookies, we're going to do it right, and all this kind of stuff. And one of the kid is one of the kids is kind of puts her head up. He's like, "Yes." She's like, "Den mother, you're frightening me." <laughs> and he leans in, and he's like, "Good." <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know. He just, uh, just these <laughs> little kids. He's like, "Good, uh, fuck you, little kid." <laughs> You would do what I say, just start then, shouting at with, them. Like, so, with, yeah, so. <laughs> with that bit as well, he like he goes to I don't know, selling cookies outside like a Costco or something. It's weird. But oh then, yeah, Costco. Yeah, yeah, and then he's they some Boy Scouts turn up while he's not there, and they like beat them up because they're like <laughs> stupid yeah, cookies. They're like so them. mean as well. Like kids can be mean, <laughs> yeah, but they're literally like trashing everything they're like stomping on all these cookies and they're just like you're a bunch of stupid little yeah, yeah. whores <laughs> but then he's it's like, like awful he's like oh i know what to do you know like they do the fucking oh we we didn't get along and now we're getting along yeah and he's he, gonna like, help them yeah, out yeah and he fuck trains them in hand-to-hand -hand combat yeah like, that's what he came up with not to be like Oh, I'll stand outside uh, with you, and if they come again, I'll tell them to go away, you know, they'll yeah. be intimidated. It's like, no, I'm going to train you how to murder them with your bare yeah. hands. You don't need a weapon, you don't need anything, I'm going to show you how to rinse the life force out of their dumb, <laughs> stupid faces. With one I know 16 ways hand. to kill a man <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. with only one hand. I will teach you ten of these. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like fucking hell, <laughs> and they really do. Like they, they turn up, they, the the kids like, again. Yeah, they're like hiya, and you're like, oh, it's gonna be cute. Like they're just gonna do kid, you know, kid action. They sort of like whack them kid around. Kid karate, yeah. But nope, they fucking like they're like strangling <laughs> them with the scarfs and toggles and fucking like 
fucking <laughs> beat the scrap, shit like out tying them up yeah. and beating the shit out of him. It's like pummeling one of the kids' faces, breaking his nose and shit. It's like fucking hell, man. <laughs> Why are you allowed to be in charge of these children? This was such a bad idea. Oh. Uh. And he, kind of, he looks at the CC. I was gonna say he looks at the CCTV and sees them. He sees the live footage of them beating the shit out of these <laughs> Boy Scouts, and he goes out there. But he doesn't like. What What is his reaction? Because he doesn't tell them off. I thought he was gonna go out there and be like, "No, you shouldn't be using what I taught you to yeah, yeah. to cause them harm or whatever." He, he's I think like he's just like he's like he like well laughs. Done. Yeah, he like laughs himself, and then he like comes out and he's like, oh, "But I." Th- Either they run away or they're just like tied up next to some poles or something. They're just tied to yeah, 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 yeah. The kids, they're just yeah. tied up. People, mind you, while this is going on, they're going in and out of Costco, just like they're like mining. They, probably see, they see them fight every week, yeah. so they're just like, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, it's, the, like, it's fucking, the scouts fight. Yeah, I don't know why we keep coming back to this shop. It's fucking weird. <laughs> yeah. They see them tied. He, he like sees them tied up outside. He's like, haha. Now let's go get some pizza. Well done, children. Oh yeah, let's yeah. Because leave them here to rot. <laughs> yeah, he kind of says about going to leave, and then they're like, "Oh, but we always go out for food after we've, after we've uh, a good healthy day, selling cookies and kicking ass." Yeah, yeah. And then he's like, "Okay, sure. Where do you go?" And then they <laughs> they kind of we then cut to them going to some like classic kind Chucky of Chuck E. Cheese, Chuck E. Cheese kind yeah. of deal, and. When they go to leave, he then realizes he's forgotten Peter, the not the baby, but the youngest son, yeah, yeah. Uh, son after that. So he has to go back. And I really enjoyed that gag where, like, because Pete, Peter's in the ball pit and he goes back and the guy was like, oh, I figured you'd... He, he says, I figured you'd come back from eventually or something. <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck? He just didn't even... It's such a weird... I figured he'd come back or something. You know? Yeah, I, I guess know it's like a... I guess it's like a joke of like, oh, you know, this happens all the time, sort of thing. Like, yeah, like, may- bad yeah, parents maybe, yeah. leave their children all the time. Don't even yeah, you worry suck, about it. <laughs> Donald Toretto. I know you're a military man, so I'll let family you should be top yeah. of your list. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just it's just the gag where like he lifts him out of the ball pit, but the kid is like butt naked, so he's lost his nappy in there, and the uh, the ball pit guy says something like. I don't know. Hey, man. No uh, free balling in here. Yeah, no free ball. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, no free balling. <laughs> but he says he says this, so then he's got to jump into the ball pit and try and find the nappy. I mean, he, like, properly dives in like it's an actual pool, and then the, the Girl Scouts are all there, and the main... I don't remember what her name is, the main one who's actually one of the family members who's one of, who's the Girl Scout. Yeah. But she... We'll call her Middle Girl. Because she's oh no she's the youngest there's only two girls right so young girl youngest girl but she turns to the others and she's like do we send someone in after him as if it's like a yeah yeah as if it's a kind of military operation or something and then he comes out of the ball pit and he just rises and he's got like the nappy in one hand and he rises it up and it, as if it's like some triumph but just the I th- the visual comedy in that I thought was really good I thought it was quite funny but yeah like like you said it's it's just those sorts of things like it, it's literally the same i know this came out before uh what's it called spy next door but it is yeah the same tropes the same thing the like, same kind of humor yeah, yeah, yeah. generally the, the kids like the kids don't like him at, at one point at, at one point they try to murder him because <laughs> oh my god they literally do yeah, yeah they're like oh let's get back at him for being so military we're gonna oil the top of the stairs so he so fucking he breaks balls his neck. Now, yeah, <laughs> breaks his fucking neck. That'll show. Yeah, they do the classic fake out of the nanny falls down, she just fucking dies. That I tell you what, I'm not surprised that that woman ran away. Yeah, she's like, I fucking she quit. was like battered to shit. <laughs> she looks like she's been through a war zone just in the house. He's like, yeah, that bit's funny as well because Vin Diesel's like begging her to stay because he's like, I should not have been left alone with these children i have no idea what why did why why did the military think this was a good idea this is so Mm. dumb and he's like please stay calm and she's like i am calm but because of her accent it sounds like she goes i am calm (laughs) (laughs) which made me laugh so much that's so dumb but yeah when he's I don't remember when it is she runs up. Was it earlier or is it like later on? I think it's a bit earlier. It's like near the A start. bit earlier or something. Because again, that's another point about 
that I was making about him being like a military man and whatever. He was like, he's a Navy SEAL and whatever. But he can't stop this one crazy... Oh, that that's my... Yeah, there's the note. I put a SEAL's operative can't stop a crazy crackhead woman from leaving the house. <laughs> because she just like absolutely out out kind of plays him and manages yeah, to yeah, escape. Yeah. She like bites him and everything and like is, kind of escapes and then as she's leaving, he's like, I don't even know how to change a diaper. <laughs> but she's already gone, you know. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, like, fucking hell, those kids just went zero to 100. They're like, oh, wouldn't want him around. Let's fucking kill him. Yeah. Let's break his fucking neck. And, and you, you know, you could use the excuse of like, oh, they're kids. They wouldn't really know what's, you know, what the consequences would be. But the kids that are doing it are the two oldest ones. Yeah, there like, must be, be like yeah, 15, 16 between them or, or something. Even old, like I, the, I feel like the the well, oldest gonna one like... is going to be going to uni soon. Like, yeah, she yeah. must so be she's like, like near 18. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's like, yeah, let's fucking oil the stairs so he slips and falls. Fuck and him. And dies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And if that doesn't work, dad, dad's chainsaw's out <laughs> in the back. <laughs> you know, if that doesn't work... We'll just fill it. We'll just fill his room with carbon monoxide. <laughs> <laughs> just like, like a, yeah. it's like it's like Home Alone on steroids. You know? <laughs> yeah, they're just like, and if that doesn't work, we'll just shoot him with his gun. We'll yeah. break into his room, get his gun, and shoot him. Take his gun and shoot him <laughs> right in his face. <laughs> That'll show him, huh? <laughs> but I mean, speaking of those kids, the the oldest girl has hosted like a house party that goes out of control because when he comes back from all yeah, the Girl Scout yeah. stuff, there's a massive party going on and, and he kind of walks through. I don't remember this. Before he turns off the music, I don't remember what it was. I can't remember. The, there was some, there was something funny that happened before the before he turns it off. I don't remember what it was, but he turns it off and he says like, all right, everybody, you're all going to have to like clean this place. Yeah. Not everybody leave. He's like, everybody here... Uh, I want I want you to clean this place spotless and and all this kind of stuff. And everybody obviously then just tries to run. And for some reason, the the guy who's like the boyfriend of the of the older girl, who is kind of like very clearly just like a, a dumb annoying. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's the typical kind of piece of shit boyfriend. Piece of shit yeah, boyfriend yeah. who's yeah he's he's kind of looks looks a bit grimy. And um, he goes to jump out like the cat flap or something. Like he's trying to <laughs> he's trying to crawl out the. <laughs> Instead of just going out the door, it's, I was so confused. I was like, why is he doing this? Because then Dom Diesel just jumps in, grabs him by his legs as he's trying to get through the, this cat flap and like pulls him back out and then picks him up. And he's like, he's looking at him and then a, a piece of ham like falls off of the ceiling that was stuck there by God knows what, like peanut butter yeah. or something. So and like weird. lands on his yeah. shirt, on his shoulder and he just looks at it and looks back at him. Bearing in mind, he's wearing a plain white T-shirt, <laughs> which, I, so, which I thought was why this is a great quote. And he's just like, this is my favorite shirt. <laughs> <laughs> and the guy's like, ah! so then they all start cleaning the house. <laughs> that girl's just like, what? This plain white T-shirt? I, I have one. Do you want one? It's the same. Just a yeah, plain white Do you, do you white need a spare? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this shirt was given to me by my family. <laughs> Oh, Every time, yeah, yeah. it never gets old. That joke. <laughs> oh good. But yeah, he fucking like that. The, the only thing about that bit is like, I mean, it's such a fucking Chad move. Instead of be like, everyone get out. It's like everyone's gonna fucking clean right now, and everyone does. That's just like, yeah, oh, okay. But maybe it's like break a couple of kids' legs as they're trying to leave. <laughs> Yeah, it's just off screen. Just because, we just don't be, see it. Yeah, just we we see him because we see him threaten that one kid, but like everyone else surely would have tried to run by then. So he's like diving on these kids and just breaking their legs, and he's but, like, "No one leaves until yeah. you clean." Just snaps it clean off. But then <laughs> you can like, have this back <laughs> when you clean. Oh my god, he's crazy. We better fucking clean the house. But yeah, like, would no one just be like, he's like, "You gotta stay here." And clean the house. And they're just like, no, we're yeah. going now. Goodbye. And then he's like, you're not leaving. And he's like, if you touch me, I'll call the police and it will be assault. Goodbye. Yeah. But no, they're just like, oh, 
Scary he's crazy. military man. Yeah, he's crazy. He's a got toothbrush. a gun. <laughs> but that's when we see, like, people are kind of rearranging stuff that they've taken off the shelves. And mm. as he's going along, he kind of picks this this uh, little DVD case off of one of them, one of the kids kind of nods to them to, for them to carry on. And then he looks at it and it just has ghost written on it. Yeah, yeah. And you're like, oh, he's found the thing. But then they have this weird shot which just seemed really out of place. Like, the whole thing generally is shot for, like, well, and everything. But it's just this one weird shot that's so kind of awkward and out of place because he's looking at this disc which says ghost on it. And then you've got a shot from outside the house with these two masked people peering in the window. Yeah, yeah. And him, like, holding the CD, the DVD case, whatever, like, really high up so that you can <laughs> see it through the window that it says ghost on it. Like he just picks it up, he's like, hmm. And then he's looking at it in the light, like, hmm. <laughs> and then the people at the window are like, oh, it says ghost on it. That's what we're looking for. <laughs> it's like he picks it up and he's like, ah, oh, ghost. I have found the thing I was looking for. Ah, uh, yes, the MacGuffin. Yeah. Mm. The secret plot device. He mm. like walks, he like walks around kind of, with the ghost side, like, facing away from him, <laughs> with his arm outstretched, like, interesting find this was. <laughs> ghost. Mm. I'm going to put this onto a projector and project it onto the outside wall of the house. This ghost CD. I'll find out all the secrets <laughs> yeah. if nobody takes them from me. Hmm. <laughs> And then that's when they get attacked. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Once they once the house is cleaned up, that's when they all they all hate him. And then they get attacked by a couple of like, I I, I want to say ninjas just because they're dressed like, uh, yeah, uh, it's kind would of you a, say like yeah, yeah. yeah like they're, su they're supposed to be like ninjas or whatever. They're they're kind of all dressed dressed uh, in black, like and, like, and yeah. black and whatever. And they're all they're literally making like what noises. Yeah, and yeah. It's like the most stereotypical. Uh, yeah, it's a stereotypical version yeah, of danger. Yeah. But, um, and the choreography is like, it's okay. Obviously, it's not as cool as, like, Spy Next Door, where more of the focus was on that sort of thing. And you've got, like, Jackie Chan, who knows how to do all the kind of really good hand to hand choreography. So it's mainly just Vin Diesel kind of throwing strong some fake punches arm. at yeah, people yeah, yeah. and strong arming and stuff and whatever, you know. But I did like how they incorporated stuff from around like they, they he kind of backs off and then they're fighting in one of the kids rooms so then he uses like the baby powder yeah, as, like, yeah, yeah. distraction smoke and then he like puts one of that was it like the the kind of it's like a little fabric tunnel kind of thing that he uses to like he puts it over one of them so that they're kind of stuck in this tunnel standing up <laughs> and all this yeah. kind of stuff and pushes one of them into a pram and they get stuck in the pram and <laughs> yeah you kind of have all of that stuff involved as well which is quite funny i don't know i I mean, we'll get to it more in the review, but I I do think the action's good for this, like because it the punches yeah. feel very like heavy, you know. It's like a psh, psh, psh. there's like more weight to it. I guess that's kind of with Vin Diesel, like as being a large potato man, like throwing yeah. a punch. But you know what I mean? It's just like a boom, boom, like uh, he's no. He's like precise but strong. It's not like a Jackie Chan like where everything's very quick and you yeah, kind of yeah. wonder like how hard was that? Punch yeah, yeah. Actually? It's like yeah, a, yeah, exactly. It's like a, I'm I love family. <laughs> you know, yeah. <laughs> I'm uh, bigger than the Rock. Just you wait and see. I'll prove it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, then we get to like he's doing the whole I love. I love you kids one-to-one -one thing you know they all go through their separate childhood traumas with him and you know he's bonding yeah with him. like the the one that gets me this this was the bit that I was like because you know you're kind of going through the film you're like this is all standard stuff and then there's yeah. just a bit and I was like I you know I I just shot up from my chair I was like what what the fuck where is this going because yeah. The Vin Diesel gets called into the school, and he sat in the the boy, the oldest boy, is sat in the principal's office, and he's dyed his hair blonde, and you're like, oh, okay, what, 
whatever. I, yeah, because he was because he was going on about it. The principal, the vice principal, was like, "He dyed his hair blonde. Yeah, I want yeah. him expelled." I was like, yeah, "Why?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and and even Vin Diesel's like, "Well, I mean, you know, he's just expressing himself. You know, it's just dyed hair." And then the principal is like, "No, that's bad." But we found this in his locker, and it's a fucking Nazi armband swastika yeah, yeah. <laughs> like what the not to not to 500 <laughs> yeah, it's like i know he's having a rough time and all he's getting like bullied but this is like massive warning flag no not just like this is not right he should be expelled they're like this isn't good no, ma- get this boy some fucking help right now. Yeah, find now. out what the he hell is, is going gonna on. Be, like, yeah, this could be some, you know, he could be chewing up a school or something. You know, this is massive red flags. <laughs> You're just yeah. like, what the fuck? I, I mean, so for context, he, he, he's like, oh, I hate you. I hate you, not my dad. And like runs away and, and, and um, Vin Diesel starts chasing him and he follows him and then he meets some other neo-Nazis and you're like, okay, is this like, is this the direction? Is this really happening? And then it's revealed, he goes in and it's a theater, they're doing the sound of music. So he's playing one of the Nazi soldiers. That's why. But then I was like, why did he not just say that? Like, even before Vin Diesel gets there. Yeah. Like, they're like, You've dyed your hair. That's not school policy. What the fuck is this? You've got an, a swastika in your locker? Like, this is serious. And he, at that point, you'd be like, oh, this is all misunderstanding. I, I, I'm embarrassed to say because I don't... I For some reason, the, I'm embarrassed. The vice principal, it's because it's the vice principal is the, um, the wrestling coach or whatever <laughs> as well. So he kind of keeps... He keeps kind of saying to him... I think that I think he doesn't want to tell them because he knows that he'll get like bullied for it by the principal guy, the vice principal. I think, but it's still it is but that thing it, where it's like if they think you're a Nazi, you yeah, surely say yeah, no. You're like, okay. I'm not. It is for this. <laughs> yeah, like, that would be the as, thing that yeah. makes you say no. It's this. It's this reason. <laughs> you're like, okay. As much as embarrassed as I am to say this, this I am not a criminal. I should not be arrested for being a neo-Nazi. I'm just acting. But no, he's like fucking going and then and Vin Diesel's chasing him he's like you come back here you neo-nazi yeah <laughs> you know what I mean I was just like Jesus Christ yeah and honestly then... I didn't because I'd not seen this before so I did not see that it coming that he was like a, a drama kid right oh uh, I right. generally see, I think thought... I remembered something about it because <laughs> I I generally thought I was like oh what he's a Nancy? Is, is this just some like odd 2005 joke that they thought it was funny that you know he's going through a rough time he's wants to become a Nazi he's, and he's, then when he yeah. like meets up with the other actors and they're all like you know skin heads they're, they're smoking outside got shaved heads you know like they look like neo-nazis and I was like what what is going on man they got you they got you with the <laughs> yeah, fake they out they really did but I, I was them. just like, yeah, I was just like, okay, I get it, and they're in a play and whatever, but even if you were rehearsing for a play in which you have to play the part of a Nazi and you are wearing Nazi uniform with the swastika on your arm and all this stuff, why would you go out for a smoke <laughs> wearing <laughs> yeah. that? Where people outside don't know what you're doing because it was just this group of guys out there smoking, like... Yeah, literally. Full Nazi gear on, you're like, Whoa. <laughs> And they're like, but that's the thing as well. Like, it's not just, they're not just in a uniform, like a proper, you know, full military outfit with the armband. They're sort of just like in street clothes with like a green coat on with a Nazi armband on the coat. So it yeah. really, really looks like they are just neo-Nazis. And he's gone to meet with them because he's like, hey, guys, let's do some hate crimes or whatever, you know? <laughs> just like, fuck it up. Let's meet up and do some hate crimes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, literally. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. <laughs> Disney, this is, like I said at the <laughs> beginning, this is dark Disney. Yeah, Disney's yeah, at war. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're not messing around with this. Yeah. 
But I think it's from this pretty much from here, now that we've had all the kids being nightmares, is then kind of the turning point where he starts to kind of help the kids out and do nice things yeah, for the kids yeah. and, and I mean well he I suppose he already did that with the with the cookie girl one. But um you have the director of the play who is unnecessary well again it's probably fairly realistic, but unnecessarily harsh to the kid, the the kid from the family. God, yeah, I don't yeah. know any of the fucking names. <laughs> but like, doesn't matter. He's so because he says to like the the woman who is in the scene with him dancing to that song, she looks like a fair bit older than him. Like she yeah, looked like yeah, a, fu yeah. a fully grown woman, and he's playing the part of the nut of this Nazi guy. And there's a bit where he's like, kind of, he's holding her hand, she's dancing, and she kind of goes up on the benches, and then the bit where she comes down, and he has to kind of like, as catch part of the her, dance yeah. move, like catch her and help her down, whatever, and. He stumbles, and then that's where they stop rehearsal, and the guy starts having a go. And but I was like, "She's a fully grown woman, and he's like a fourteen-year-old kid. Of course, he's probably going to stumble yeah. or whatever." Like yeah. she just throws himself at it, <laughs> herself at him. You know, give him a break. And he's like, "I can't do this. I can't work in these conditions. I quit." And you're like, "Dude, these it's are a chill. school. Yeah, yeah. Oh, not well, not school, maybe, but it's like a young people per performance thing. Like, what is wrong with you? Yeah, <laughs> literally." And then Diesel, like Vin Diesel, does the I, uh, you know, I, I've managed, I've directed oh, military so operations, sort of so I can, I can be a director of a play. And yeah, it just does. Like, there's no issue with it. It's, it's not a thing of like, oh, I'm in too deep again. He's like, no, I can do it. I've done it. Yeah, exactly. He's <laughs> just like, I've directed missions for the <laughs> army. I could easily direct a play. I was like. Ah! That kind of do different things, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah, but he, yeah. Yeah. I was just going to say, like, they turn yeah. up at the end, you know, when they, they all meet up at the end and they're performing the play. And everyone's like, this is horrible. This just, this is the worst play I've ever seen. Like, he really didn't know what he was doing. Everyone's at fumbling all. their lines and bumping yeah. into each other and nobody knows what they're doing. And but they can all march into... himself as the lead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he just gives them a speech about the military and about how they can sign up <laughs> yeah, yeah he just completely doesn't get the story of the sound of music at all so like instead of they escape <laughs> from the military they all are like we see the error of our ways we love the military let us go and join the military <laughs> and then at the end he's like we are navy seals <laughs> yeah. this is what we do <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, but he kind of yeah he he does nice things for each of them like he's trying to think of a story to tell the girl scout kid while she's trying to go to sleep and he starts telling this story about like elves and gnomes and stuff and i just think it's so funny how they have the gag of like it does a very short time skip and she's asleep and he's still talking about the story <laughs> yeah, of yeah. eating the cookies himself and he's like and not no one gnome was left behind that day, <laughs> yeah. and all this kind of stuff. And he's like nearly crying. Yeah, I just I, and again, that's, that's a moment bit, yeah. I remembered, and I just uh, I just thought that was quite funny. There's there's good kind of wholesome jokes like that yeah, in yeah. it, I think. And he's teaching the eldest girl to drive as well, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. She's like horrible at driving, but then she he teaches her to do drifts and shit, like yeah, like end, advanced yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. At the end, they're dangerous like, stuff. The so. They they do like family stuff, that stuff, and then at the end, the uh, it turns out that the neighbors were the foreign spies or something, so they're trying to get ghost. Blah blah blah. Do it doesn't matter. It story doesn't <laughs> yeah. matter. But then the point is that they escape, and the 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 girl, it, who's horrible at driving, she just like fucking speeds down the street she's like swerving in and out doing drifts and shit and you're like so he's been teaching he was like i could teach you to drive but instead he's been teaching her like street racing yeah like advanced well i mean <laughs> this is the beginning of this all adds on to the theory <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's exactly, what he then exactly. be goes into and becomes you know and that girl is, he's teaching other ways grew of up to be Michelle Rodriguez in the Oh my the god, she changed, yeah. she changed her, she changed, uh, she changed, oh, I can look at that. <laughs> I, <laughs> I was gonna, I'm, I'm very tired. 
Like, <laughs> just, we gotta, <laughs> she changed, she changed, she changed. <laughs> Into into Michelle Rodriguez, and then just scowls at everyone all the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, we'll keep that in. Right, yeah. whatever. <laughs> <laughs> this episode has just been a mess. I don't know what's oh, going on this time. No, it's but... good. This is good. <laughs> But then he kind of, as you kind of expect, I mean, you see the whole thing of the vice principal being a bully and you're like, okay, so later on at some point, he's going to get shown up and embarrassed and bullied in front of everyone else. So when he's trying to pick on the kid for for being more kind of open and, and bold about the fact that he wants to do drama and yeah, he's going to yeah. be in that play and all this kind of stuff, which I'm assuming that they had to tell to the principal and vice principal, like, <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, he's not a Nazi, yeah, by the way, yeah. it's a play. Yeah. <laughs> they just didn't tell him. He was like, ah, we'll deal with it, it's fine. <laughs> We'll, we'll, he turns know, we'll, back. We'll, he comes back to school, and they're like, uh, "No, you are. I'm calling the police." Yeah, you're not allowed back here. Yeah. Well. And again, another thing I remembered was when he kind of challenges the vice principal to a to a wrestle off or a wrestle <laughs> fight or something to see who's better, and and the vice principal was all weird about it. WrestleMania. Yeah, and he the whole like the whole school is there. I think like it's it's a weird kind of thing they have this audience for. Yeah, yeah. And then um, Don Diesel, or Dom. I always say Don rather than Dom. <laughs> like, <laughs> look what they did to my beautiful boy. You know? oh, my boy, Don. Don <laughs> Diesel. Please forgive me and my family. He's a good boy. He likes family. <laughs> He's not a Nazi, I swear. <laughs> He's just doing a play. My boy. About my daughter's wedding. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, well, so, yeah. So they have this, they have this thing where they got to like wrestle off, but obviously Vin Diesel's just like tossing this guy around like a like a old rag. He's just you know showing him up and kind of then saying to the whole the whole yeah, like, yeah, atrium he's... whatever. He's like rule number one, well, you know. He's too, or, fa- or mistake number one. He's too eager to to make the first yeah, move and yeah, all this kind of yeah. stuff, and like embarrassing him. And then the <laughs> vice principal kind of sees his opportunity and then kind of stands up or like kneels up and just grabs onto Vin Diesel's nips and starts like, he's like, ah, and he's like trying to give him like a nipple cripple. And then he just goes like, he's like shouting to the atrium. He's like, ah, the nipple crippler. <laughs> and then he goes, and he's like, you know, the last attempt of a, de- of a desperate yeah, man yeah, yeah. or whatever. And then he, all the kids are cheering as he just beats up the principal. Vice he's principal. Go, in that part, he's going through like different moves. He's like, ah, oh, the the nipple crippler, the the fighting crate. And then, of course, they just couldn't fucking resist. Because he's like, he puts his hand in the vice principal's mouth or something. And he's like, the pacifier. Uh, and everyone starts yeah. cheering. He looks into the camera and winks. He's like, hmm, that, do you see the title <laughs> of the movie? Yeah. And I was like, oh, I'd like, it'd be funny if he just he just starts like violently beating the shit out of the <laughs> vice principal, like repeatedly just punching his face in, and then the guy he's like so he's like unconscious, bleeding everywhere. He's like so he's completely incapacitated, and he's like the pacifier. <laughs> <laughs> Consider yourself pacified, <laughs> yeah. bitch. <laughs> and, then the, and then the kids are like, Jesus. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you kind of get the, the the montage then, accompanied by the song "The Anthem" by Good Charlotte, which is a which is a always an absolute banger, by the way. Where he's he's make he's kind of fixing everything. You know, it, he's he's clearly making the play go well and he's he's yeah, getting them yeah, all to yeah. rehearse he's he's doing a good job of looking after the kids he's getting them all to school on time and he's kind of like doing all this montage stuff i mean most of the most of his solutions to issues are just military things like <laughs> the people with the play he just makes them do like an army crawl and yeah. all this kind of stuff you're like how is this helping them i don't get it <laughs> and then he has to do the peter panda dance a dance. I'm saying it like that. Da- dance. He's doing um, the dance. He's doing a Peter Panda dance. <laughs> <laughs> Which, just on its own, you're like, this is kind of weird. Like, it just sounds weird. Like you, it it comes into play later that it's the it's the kind of secret method of as vague as it is the secret the secret way to get into this hidden vault. 
um, without that's where, dying yeah. to an array of horrible things. And that's where the um, secret ghost thing is. But the ghost thing is, yeah. But like, he's doing the kind of Peter Pan dance, whatever, and, and to the youngest kid because that's the only way that he'll fall asleep. And then he's like tucking him in afterwards, and the kid's like. I love you, Dad. Or like, thanks, Dad. <laughs> and I was like, fuck it. I know this kid is like f- four or five years old, but he moved on quick. <laughs> it's been like It's been a like week. a few weeks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe like a week or two. Yeah. And uh, you're just like, fucking hell, this guy, he's moving on quick. He's like, yeah, hey, you're my new dad. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen my other one. I, I'm not really old enough to comprehend the fact that he's died now, but you're my new dad. <laughs> and then Vin Diesel doesn't do like a, now listen, son. I'm not your dad. I'm not your dad, but we could be family or (laughs) or whatever. He's just like, he just smiles and goes like, yep, I'm your dad. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) I'm your dad. You know, (laughs) but he's just like, you know, puts him to bed, whatever. And is it funny enough? I mean, they kind of cut it together quite well because at this point I was like, wait, how long has it been that he's been looking after these kids? Because if he's telling him that, has it been ages? Where is the mum? What is she doing? Because it then cuts to in Switzerland or wherever it was, where they're sat there still trying to, like, guess this password. I think we saw them, like, earlier on in the film at some point. But the, literally, the, the guy in the bank is like, it's been weeks. <laughs> it's been, like, a week or more, yeah, like, or yeah. two weeks or something like that, and you still haven't guessed the password that you need to be able to access the key, all of his belongings. Yeah, yeah. Which is weird because you're like, okay, so A... They, do they just let anybody... Uh, obviously obviously it's because it's his wife. But yeah, then, yeah, yeah. Okay, so if you just let anybody sit there and guess the password until they guess it and then let them hack in, that's kind of weird. But also, okay, maybe the exception is, is because he's, she's his wife, but then it's uh, like what? Nobody's ever allowed to see it ever again because he never gave the password to anyone. Yeah, yeah. He's dead, so like give it to his wife. I don't understand. It's kind of weird. Like his possessions would surely then go to her. Like I said, this will, he explicitly stated, don't let this any, near anyone. Yeah, yeah, unless she knows the password. Unless she eventually guesses her. the password. Yeah. yeah. Uh, which turns out to just be on the inside of her wedding ring. It says, like, my angel. And she's like, oh, is this the password? And they're like, finally, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I was just like, what? <laughs> okay. It's like, that's it? That's the bank security? Yeah, like, exactly. Is there not just, would it, would it not just be a number? Or would it not just be, like, a key? Or would she be like, like, oh, I'm the the next of kin now? Yeah, yeah. It's like, I'm the joint account holder. Like, and he's like, oh, yes, I see your name on our system. Here is the key. It's like, the McGuff. Yeah, yeah. Now you have to guess the special password. Yeah. (laughs) Just the fact that it's gone on for like a couple of weeks. (laughs) Like, it just, it's a ridiculous amount of time. Maybe they tried, they tried that one time when we first see it. And then they were like, oh, well, we're in Switzerland, so should we just go out and sightsee and do some stuff while we're yeah, out? Yeah, and just make a big, long list of everything we <laughs> yeah. think it could be. Yeah. <laughs> and, make, and then come back in, in like, two weeks and try yeah. again. May- yeah, maybe. We'll never know. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, that, that's, that's, that's kind of it, isn't it, really? Like, it just gets to the end then, because... Well, they, they sort of have that one bit that I, I did really enjoy, which one of those, like, kind of deeper emotional talky bits which i thought was really good where he's having a conversation with the oldest girl again same as the thing that happens in spy next door but he's having a conversation with her just about like her dealing with the loss of her dad and like the fact that she ha- feels like she has to stay strong because she's the oldest sibling she has to stay strong for her mum and for all the siblings and stuff and he says like you know that sounds like a really big burden to carry and she's like it is and she starts crying he kind of relates about the fact that he lost his parents and he understands that. and i was just like oh man this bit i wonder if the writer had some like you know wanted to express all this stuff and kind of yeah had the film around it or like you know somebody wanted this input and then just fucking poured from the heart about this yeah, stuff i was yeah. like oh fucking hell you know but yeah it kind of because the the mum now has the key that's when they're heading back and he's like oh you're gonna see your mum again and you know you guys you guys should be happy because they're all sat in the living room and they're like oh but then aren't you gonna leave because they like him now and they're like "Mm." and i was like wait this dude is nanny mcphee (laughs) (laughs) do you ever see that film yeah 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 and she has that phrase where she's like when you want when you need me but do not want me then i then i yeah yeah. and then she's like when you want me uh, when you need me but no, when you want me, but no longer need me, I'm afraid I must leave. And I was like, he's literally Nanny McPhee. This is the same thing. 
<laughs> he's like Mary oh, Poppins, so you know. Weird. So yeah, I mean, pretty much from there, it kind of all ramps up quite quickly. You get the because the, the mum went off with, I think it's some Dom, military. Dom Diesel's military. Yeah, yeah. He, it's like his superior, right? So yeah, he's the one who went off with her to get the stuff, and then when they come back because Dom Diesel's found the entr the secret entrance in the gar in the garage. And I was like, surely they did a sweep of the house, did they? How did they not find this? That's what I'm saying. Why didn't they? Yeah. It's just so... It's just so do a dumb. sweep of the house. But, so he, he's found it, and he let them know when they're on the way back. Yeah. So when the... And the, I mean, the, the superior officer guy was super sus anyway. Like, when he's on the phone to him, he's like, I found the secret entrance, yeah, blah, yeah. blah, blah. And he's like... He's just staring off doing this, like, kind of, this, the kind of smug, creepy, like, <laughs> yes, my evil plan. And then he's he's like, okay, see you there. And then, you know, heads off. But he's, he then has this, this is where the theory comes in that I was talking about earlier. Because was well, the superior officer guy is saying to him, you know, this is great news. You know, we've got the key. Once all this is done, I'll give you any any pick of any yeah, mission yeah. you want. You get top pick of whatever, blah, blah, blah. You know, don't even worry about it. And then Dom Diesel is like, oh, actually, I, I've i kind of, after my experiences here, I think I might want to start a family. And he's yeah, saying, yeah. Or, or not in as many words, but he's kind of saying, you know, being around this has kind of made me rethink about what I want in my life. Because he said, all I've ever known is the military and I've never had a family. And I was like, oh, my God, this is Don Toretto before he discovered <laughs> the secrets and powers of family. You know, he's just like, I don't know. I mean, this family. <laughs> <laughs> idea seems like it's a pretty good idea and then he comes uh, and then he's like he tries to start this family and then the principal dies and that's why he goes to a life of crime of stealing yeah yeah whatever it is he in the first one this, VHSs yeah. or something because he so goes back stupid, in time yeah. I don't know <laughs> <laughs> I think you're right it has to be <laughs> yeah because then they just they immediately then get jumped by the two like ninja people from before yeah that reveal yeah. themselves to be the neighbors the, the only other asian people that we've seen <laughs> in the in the whole uh, <laughs> film there's some stuff where you're like oh yeah. <laughs> you know it's like somebody some somebody probably thought at the time they were being really clever and priming it and being like oh well you see you know we put these these two asian characters yeah, in yeah. here earlier uh if you were clever you could have pieced it together by remembering that they spoke <laughs> they spoke in an asian language earlier and so you know you must put two and two together so they they pop up dom diesel kind of starts beating them up and then the betrayal kind of happens where it turns you know the other his superior puts the gun to his head or whatever and he's yeah. like i'm sorry but the pay is too good and and knocks him out yeah so my question is about yeah. the secret spies right so the the the, the two the, the two neighbors right the two neighbors yeah so so did they move in after thine after they found out oh that God, the dead yeah. dad had the ghost thing so they've moved in like they Super literally, recent. yeah, they they literally move in, and that same day they're like, "Hey, can you turn it down? Fucking stop your alarms and shit." Or, or were they spies, and they were like, "Oh, you already live next door, so can you, you know, do some spy stuff and get this thing?" Or were they pedestrians? <laughs> and then, and then the military are like, "Hey, do you want to be secret super spies and be evil?" They're like, "Yeah." Yeah, we'll do that, yeah. Yeah, That's yeah, fine. we'll do that. Well, they go yeah. through, like, <laughs> all this training. They yeah. don't have enough time, so they go through training of how to specifically look like a stereotypical ninja. <laughs> yeah. And they were like, believe me, it'll be important. Yeah. They're like, isn't this a bit, you know, on the... And they're like, nope, put it on. Put yeah, it. <laughs> yeah. There's no time. I don't know, it kind of feels a bit insensitive. Nope. <laughs> I'm sorry, but we're we're really pressed for time here. The go the ghost is is fast approaching. They're like, what is that? They're like, doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. Really does not make a difference to anything, whether you know this or not. <laughs> They're like All so... you all you need to know is we want it. They yeah, have it. Yeah, yeah. They're like, wait, so what does it do? Shut up! Shut, Shut up. up. <laughs> they have it, we want it, and you, sir, are a ninja. <laughs> Cause then they got they then kind of like tie up the whole family in, in the house and they just go full. They're just like, okay, cool. We're going to take this now, so we're just going to tie all yeah, of you yeah, up. Yeah. And the 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 
the wife says to the superior officer guy, like the way she says it just made me laugh because she's like, you've betrayed us and you've betrayed this country. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was like, yeah. oh no. <laughs> There's like you've betrayed the great playing. America. <laughs> Horns stop playing in the background. There's like yeah. an American flag waving behind ah! her. <laughs> and he's like, you're right. I love this country. Yeah. Here, take the take the thing, the ghost or whatever it's called. The, I'm going to beat these ninjas up with freedom. Yeah, yeah. there's one thing American more justice. important than betraying America, and that's family. Here you go. I, I, I'm <laughs> dead now or something. Fuck it. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I wrote that down as well. It's yeah, just like, it just... Fuck it was up. such a weirdly delivered line. But, I mean, yeah, you kind of have... You know, they're all the kids kind of break free using weird kind of comical slapsticky tactics of, you know, knocking out the ninja guy and stuff. And it ends up that Dom Dom Diesel has to go into the vault, but they realize it's kind of booby trapped and they don't know how to get in. And he figures out that he has to do the Peter Panda yeah, dance, yeah. which is, but it's kind of funny. Like, I mean, I, okay, put other things to a side, like the fact that he'll say, you know, three steps forward, and then you got to quickly lie on your back as a like a turtle yeah. and he'll do that and he'll roll all the way to one side to avoid all these flames and blah 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 and i'm like yeah but it's so vague like he wouldn't <laughs> how does he know to do it you know but you're like okay it's short whatever he's he's doing this but the security measures for that vault of all of those things where he's like you've got to duck <laughs> under this like flames and you've got to move out the way of these spikes it's so shit if you just sprinted from one end <laughs> to the other you'd be fine <laughs> Because they're all really slow paced. Like yeah, these literally. weird over the top spikes come down, but like they'll come down like one, two, three from left to right, like oh, two, three, as he's doing the song. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And then you do another one, and then you do a step back, and then you do that. And I'm like, if you ran <laughs> just straight to the other end, you'd be fine. And then the gas, the gas, yeah, okay, the gas would come in. That's what happens where he's like, oh, you've got to hold your breath. Because there's all of the gas, but the button is on the wall where you stood. So yeah, he's like, oh, the gas is it out, and deactivates it. everything. Yeah, and it's just like, uh, oh, that's the Peter Panda dance. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> you start it, and you're like, like you do. Oh, yeah, no, that's you yeah, run just, to yeah, yeah. the other side <laughs> and press the button, and that's the Peter Panda dance. <laughs> Imagine if that was something like, it's like, Dad, please sing the Peter Panda dance. I can't go to bed. He's like, okay, son. You walk up to the thing and then you scan your retina nope. <laughs> and then you place your fingerprints on the screen and then it scans a screen and then the code is five four two nine three then it opens to but be careful the because... hungry wolves <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, be careful because if you don't wait for three seconds a, a guillotine chops off your hand so you must wait <laughs> then it lifts up and you get the secret formula or whatever it is and then you walk <laughs> away and then you do whatever but then if you, you don't have a bag of sand <laughs> like in that one indiana jones film then the pedestal will slowly <laughs> go down and then the broom will try and crush you while heating up to 500 degrees <laughs> unless you know the special stone to press on the wall over there that's right not there over there on the wall alternatively but there's a key code at the start so you could just press that in the codes one 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 and all the I devices had time to change it <laughs> i've been making up this stupid fucking dance i just type in one 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 and all the things deactivate and i can get the thing without any of that bullshit La, 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 la. And that's the Peter I Pan. <laughs> and the kid, the kid is like, the kid is like, ah, I'm soothed. I go to sleep now. <laughs> Just oh, I forgot. Be wary of the flying chainsaws. Yeah. But again. <laughs> You can just press can in just the press code, the code. <laughs> and it will turn off. <laughs> this is so elaborate. <laughs> yeah, because there's one of the first lyrics is like, "Oh, when you feel that you haven't got a chance or something like that." Yeah. So yeah. then, the the bad guy, superior dude, he does the classic thing where he's like. You clearly have no idea how to get past this thing, but you've got to do it right now, otherwise yeah, yeah. I'm going to kill you. I don't care, just do it. And he's like, well, I don't have any idea of how I'm <laughs> yeah. supposed to do it. Just do it now. And then the, the woman that's there is like, oh, you haven't got a chance. And like, no pause, it, like that, immediately, Don Diesel starts going, 
You haven't got a chance. <laughs> he starts like singing this song, and they're like, "What?" <laughs> he just starts going into the song, and being like, three steps. And he just, he just walks into the room, and starts hopping forward like three, so he jumps, and, and then this, and, just, and, like, and it's up? and it's his dad. It's the kid's dad's thing. So the mum, like, she's never seen it before either. So she's just like, "Yeah, what she, are you? Yeah, yeah. What, what are you doing? This insane man has been looking after <laughs> my children." He's like, it's just, just like, oh no, that's the that's the that's the Peter Panda dances for getting through the the other security bunker underneath the garden. <laughs> this is for, and he turns around, he gets like cut in half. By this. <laughs> He's, He's like, like, no, it's you don't lie like, like a turtle on your back. You uh, go up against the wall like a gecko. <laughs> <laughs> it's the other one. <laughs> <laughs> that's the uh, that's the the Peter Panda uh, drum and bass rave. <laughs> <laughs> you just sprint. You just sprint to the end like you would in a Go race. The wall. <laughs> you yeah, take yeah. you take some pills and then you sprint towards the end and yeah. that's it. <laughs> you have to get out of there before you get a come down just, or whatever. You got to do the code and then take some Andy, <laughs> and then he gets the wall. <laughs> it's gonna be fucking weird. <laughs> you contemplate life for three hours, slowly, but rock really back. three minutes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you piss yourself, but you don't notice because you're on hardcore drugs. <laughs> <laughs> the heroin is <laughs> supply is by the wall behind the loose brick. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and that's and the, the, kid, the, the kid's like dancing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's like enacting or reenacting all the things like in a dance. So he's like pretending to shoot up his arm and like snort. <laughs> yeah. And this little yeah. kid's like la 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 la. <laughs> he's just like heat up the spoon, <laughs> not too long, <laughs> just enough. <laughs> Make sure there's no air in. The syringe when you <laughs> inject it. <laughs> it's miming like, like yeah. squirting out a little bit, just yeah, like no. don't wanna cause a rupture on your brain. <laughs> Shoot it up and then lie there for four hours <laughs> in a trance. Have you seen train spotting? <laughs> <laughs> that bit where he jumps into the toilet. That's how <laughs> I feel. I'll never the baby give it on up. the roof. That's you. I <laughs> feel <laughs> <laughs> like we're just going so far with this. <laughs> this episode I is so is long as well. But, yeah, I know. Oh, like, I'm just, I'm right at the end of my notes. I haven't even got much more. But it just keeps going. All right, no, quick, quick, quick. All right. Uh, I think that's that's pretty much it. Apart from, um, he literally says like a very Fast and Furious esque line to the girl at the end. Oh yeah, like, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna miss you. Am I ever gonna see you again? Because, like I said, this lends to the theory that this is uh, Don Toretto before he was him. <laughs> because he's like, no matter how far along life takes me away, I'll always be thinking about you. And I was like, oh. Which is so creepy as well. Like he's like, I'll always be thinking about it, you. I, there I were love some you. slightly you are creepy my best vibes. Friend. It's because like, I'll come yeah. back and watch you through my binoculars. Yeah, <laughs> because <laughs> like earlier on, you kind of have this weird. <laughs> yeah. oh, no, don't. That's so. Oh. <laughs> it's just. So, so... <laughs> it's so weird because like. They have this kind of joke earlier on where she's kind of asking him about his big man boobs and stuff and kind of, and then when he's like, I don't know, stop being weird, go to your room or something. And yeah, she's like, yeah. to think I was interested in you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. They have that kind of weird thing where you could, on one hand, you could be like, oh, it's just that thing, you know, where kind of really young kids where they'll be like, will you be my girlfriend? Yeah, will you yeah, be yeah, my, yeah, yeah. my married to the teacher? And they're like, <laughs> oh, they just asked me out. They're so cute and whatever. But it but because it's one of those films where the kids are written not like kids would speak. Yeah, they, yeah. They, they talk like adults would speak. They're, like, way too mature. So it does feel a bit weird. It's not like... I, there's it's not awesome fucking vibes. That's yeah, My it's, Boy it's not, vibes. It's not, it's not... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, it's, it's not weird enough that you don't just kind of put it to one side. But you do... It does cross your mind because, like... Yeah, it's yeah. like, this is a bit weird. He's like, I'll always be thinking about you. And she's like, I love you. And he's like, I love you too. And it's like... <laughs> Let me smell you. <laughs> yeah. 
We do the Peter Pan. And then I smell your hair. And I want you to sleep. Da, 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 da. <laughs> and then and then the song that Peter Banner does becomes See You Again. <laughs> been a long day. <laughs> it's been a long day. We're back to Peter Panda dance. <laughs> it's been a long day. I'm getting cold day turkey. <laughs> since I smelled your hair. Can I smell your hair? Come to the prison. I've been arrested. They were like, yeah, we were rescuing the uh, the dad because he needed to go to jail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. He was hiding out. Is he, yeah. he was really not right in the head. Uh, <laughs> it's all the drugs. <laughs> but yeah, it's like because he didn't spend that long with the kids, right? It was only like a few weeks. If that, I'm sure think, she's if like that. Because he's like, I think two weeks was what they yeah, said two when weeks they got max, the keys. So reckon, like, let's yeah. say two and a half weeks if it took yeah, them a okay. while to get back and then fight off everyone and whatever. But like that was kind of it. And they're just like, we love this man. He's so great. And he's like, you've softened me as a man. Yeah. And then the principal's <laughs> no like, longer, no longer military. Yeah. I'm family. <laughs> and then the principal's like, I'm here now for some reason. Make love to me. And yeah. Like, Cause she's like, is there any other reason that you might want to stay? And he's like, bitch, I don't know you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, you've known each other for two weeks. <laughs> but yeah, they're, they're like true love or whatever straight yeah, yeah, away. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's so <laughs> uh, They had some thing is again. They had some great two thousands music though. In that, I just I noted at the end of my notes. I just put the Smash Mouth song "Everyday Superhero," which I always loved from the film Zoom, which we'll definitely have to do at some point. <laughs> and then the anthem by Good Charlotte. So you know they got a couple of good tracks and stuff in there. Just yeah, add that in. Yeah, well, uh, that, that's a good transition to. Uh, the soundtrack's good. What What do you think about the film? Film, I I would say bad film. Family. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, you I'd say yourself. Uh, yeah, I could. I could do. Bad film. Let me smell. Yeah, bad yeah. film. Uh. <laughs> 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 I yeah. I'd say bad film. Good. I think like it's a, it's just again maybe because it's something i saw when i was younger but it's kind of a comfort film almost not that i would watch it regularly or anything but for the nostalgia's sake i was like oh man i remember i used to watch this film a lot and i enjoyed it yeah you know and it's just it's nothing crazy it's pretty standard but it's wholesome so i think i I think bad film better than the spy next door yeah because i think the story in most ways apart from the choreography i think well you say that i think this type of action works better for this type of thing. So, like, Spy Next Door. Yeah, is, is, I see what it, you mean. Obviously, it's Jackie Chan and it's that type of action. But the film is built around Jackie Chan stuff. So, the whole, the whole thing is, here's some kung fu. Now, we need to make this fit in somehow. He's looking after some kids. Whereas this is more like, this guy... D- this guy's in a situation he's not used to. He, he needs to do a little bit of action. It's sort of more like brute force kind of uh, yeah, yeah, three stooges almost, like a bit dopey, a bit like, you know what I mean? Like a, yeah, yeah. a bit more comical, whereas it's like Jackie Chang is kung fu trying to be forced into like a comical sort of thing. And it don't get me wrong, I think it works really well, but I think this works better as a whole like i think it works better <clears throat> yeah. as a thing i also really like vin diesel in this which isn't something i usually say yeah like, he's like he's he's, he's not bad yeah he's like he's not quite great. wholesome he's not yeah he's like quite dopey but he's just he's got the comedic chops just enough for this type of thing he's not like a comedic actor but he's yeah. perfect for this type of thing I guess because he's also playing a very stiff military man. Yeah, exactly. He's in this kind exactly. of situation. So it exactly. does work, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we may have thought, you know, bad film, good, and and, and bad film, wholesome, and, and all this kind of stuff. But um, some interesting reviews when I looked on Rotten Tomatoes. Oh, wait, no. We should have scabbity dapped uh, for oh, the new no, section. scabbity oh, bap dap no. We missed it. We missed it. scabbity <laughs> <laughs> just gotta get it. I'm overusing that joke now for sure. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, as as per usual, Aiden, I assume, was able to look on IMDb and find some good reviews on Indeedy. there. And um IMDb did and skippity bap skippity skippity skippity. We brought it back, we've done it. 
uh, although every time it. we do it, it is a new section. So that was the that was, that was our section. reviews, yeah. And <laughs> but no, I I always look on Rotten Tomatoes uh, unless there's nothing there, which for some of the more obscure films is the case. Um, I got a I got a quite a few small ones this time. Yeah, just just roll them out. Just roll. Just them out. roll them out. And I normally don't go for the critics' reviews because they're boring and they're just like <laughs> actually analytical and like talking about the actual film and they're not dumb. And I I prefer the ones that are funny and dumb. So there's one from uh, Nell Minow from the Common Sense Media who gave it a one out of five back in 2010. So this is five years after the release. It's probably after Spy Next Door came out. Yeah, like, yeah, I want to yeah. see what the original piece yeah. of work was. And it, I mean, normally with a critics review, obviously they have a big, long, actual proper review, but they just have the small little blurb for you to see and then click on to see what, the rest of what they're saying. So for hers, all it said was just crass, crude, and overly familiar comedy. And I was like... <laughs> Is it what? really that crass yeah. like and crude? Like, okay, there's the one bit where he jumps in the sewer and he's covered in yeah, poop, yeah. but it's really not that much of a... Not of really, a, yeah. Like, crass and crude. I was like, you watch a different film or something? <laughs> what is that? That's so weird. Because then there's another one by Nathan Rabin from the AD, AV Club. In 2005, I, I couldn't see what um, rating they gave it because when I clicked see full review, it I got like a 404. Oh, right. <laughs> so they've okay. probably taken it, taken yeah, it down yeah. since then. And all he says, and the blurb thing was, at one point, Diesel literally wades into ran into a rancid sewer and it emerges covered in feces, an image that sadly doubles as a metaphor for his career. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, oh, well, you, well, you, you, you slipped up there. <laughs> you slipped and tripped, I that think, into a pile of feces. Poily. Yeah. Poily. So, I tell you, that's age poily. Hey, that's age poily. <laughs> hey, come on. Oh, come on. I'm, I'm reviewing here. <laughs> Quit busting my diesel. <laughs> um, but yeah, so he, he that, like I said, that was, yeah, 2005. So that was at the time when it came out. So probably why it's been removed since. Yeah. yeah. Know, kind of feels a shame. There, but then we got a couple of audience reviews, which I thought were quite funny. Paul A, who gave it three stars, says, funny, but it kind of sucked as well. <laughs> which is a very good kind of, you know, the, balancing it out looking at it from both sides three stars as well so it's not bad and then juan p give it four out of five stars says it's super super fun the negative use of koreans may be a problem but it's still <laughs> funny <laughs> yeah yeah it's like that's, i was like yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's that's an accurate one very you know much more accurate than the actual you know critics so all right uh, well my one is i've just got one it's from black watch one two three four this was in 2005 as well, so when it came out. Yeah. It's One Star Awful Movie is the title. Now, before I read this, it's important to note, every time I say the word C, as in, please do not see it, he's written it as the letter C. Ah. Oh, and it's... The, the words of a... Of a <laughs> the writings of a wordsmith. Yeah. Of a true Shakespeare, yeah. <laughs> Carry on. It says, this is a horrible movie. Please do not see it. I rate it a ho a one horrible, just awful. I left in the middle of it, just plain bad, boring, dull, making it. <laughs> sorry, making it made my bum stiff. Please <laughs> do not watch it. Dumbest movie ever. It made me puck. I think he made. Did did he? Does he mean puke? <laughs> Probably. I don't know. I thought he was like pucker up, like. <laughs> It made me like, want to but kiss as Vin a Diesel. weird way to say that it's like a sour. I mean, I I I took leaps there. I was just thinking like, oh, a sour face. <laughs> I don't know. It made me puck. And then horrible ist, but written as in horrible dash st. Ever made movie? It wouldn't even be a nominee for the Oscars a hundred years ago, when there was little technology. <laughs> right. like the stone age 100 yeah. years ago <laughs> okay highly against it not cute pointless and dumb my friends agree please be warned it is a stupid movie it makes dora the explorer exciting and if it's fit for a baby to see it will get them to sleep for sh <laughs> sorry. Oh, this, fucking. Oh, this, this is sorry, right, I'm going to sleep listening to yeah, this fucking this is guy. Fucking, look, this is the best bit. He says, um, it will it will get them to sleep for sure. Ha 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 
I make myself laugh. <laughs> Just take my advice and see another movie. I'm wasting lines because I have to fill ten of them up for this to work. And hey, what do you know? I did. Bye. And don't see the movie. Thanks. I hope you enjoy my comment. So, I don't know. Did IMDb have a minimum review? I guess Feels so, like he but... had to, re- as a kid that had to re- write a review of a film <laughs> yeah. for school. Yeah, yeah. And then turns that in as their result. <laughs> but then there's others from 2005. Like, literally, this one, I've just got it on my phone, and it's like, 10 out of 10 from 2005. And literally, all it says is, like, good film. So, yeah. what? What? What's he talking about? But yeah, I just thought it was funny. The bit where he starts oh. laughing in text. Ha, 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 yeah. ha. <laughs> Look, we've, uh... We talked about some dumb shit about the film, but should we mm. talk about some real life dumb shit? Some real shit? life dumb shit. Uh, you know, you every week. Oh yeah, fuck, we gotta do that. <laughs> Skibbity bop bop dumb shit. Real life. Skibbity. <laughs> 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 but, I mean, look, this episode's been this episode's been super long, so I'm just gonna do like a, a quick one that something funny that happened at work today. So it's not like a massive thing, but basically they were talking about like Gen Z and and understanding the kind of kids of the of the new generation or whatever. Yeah. And we had to do like a quiz thing. I mean, it's Wait. not it's it's weird. We had to do this quiz where it was like a, a, a really kind of quick thing. You had to be as quick as you could, and it was. Lots of stuff to do with like slang that kind of the kids use these days. <laughs> like w- one of them was like, "What does goat stand for?" and um, <laughs> and using the phrase like I didn't understand it at first because the way they phrased it, but they were saying about like, uh, "What does it mean when some somebody uses the word like weak?" But yeah. what it meant is like in the context of somebody saying like, "Oh, I'm dying, I'm weak, whatever." Like that's so funny, kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. You know, were they laughing about it? Because that's what the correct answer was. Like somebody's finding yeah, something yeah. really funny. Like they're 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 weak. But like when they used it in a sentence, and they were like, "Oh, that's weak." <laughs> it's <was> like <laughs> that's not how you. <laughs> but it was such a kind of. I hope I, I hope none of the higher ups uh, hear this. But <laughs> it was just, you know, it was very like. That's okay, but not okay, boomer, because they're not that. Old, <laughs> yeah, but, like, yeah. But it's it is like, that kind of thing where whoa, it's like wicked oh, I, cool, I, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm down with the kids. Yeah, yeah all I thought whoa, of was the Steve weak. Buscemi meme where he's like, "How do you do, fellow kids?" <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that was the thing. Like that was that was kind of the funny thing because then people then in the presentation later on they used the term goat a couple of times, like, oh, but no, in a bad yeah. way, like. Oh. This this presentation was, was goat. The goat. Was like the goat, and I was like, ah, <laughs> don't do that to us, please. <laughs> oh, it hurts. Oh, <laughs> so that's, that's just no. a bit of a bit oh, of dumb God, shit. No, like, why a did tidbit. why 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 did they? Oh, oh because it's all God. about understanding the the new students for the new year and all this. You know, <gasps> Oh, that's. Oh, I, hate I know that. it hurts. <laughs> I'm glad you did it. Not me. has me weak. <laughs> oh, good. Uh, oh. That's the goat. Oh god, don't it hurts. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna change the name to bad film goat. <laughs> bad weak goat. It's just <laughs> completely off. Like nothing to do with what we do now. Oh, can't wait. But, um, uh, good. Yeah, uh, I guess <laughs> that's about everything that we've got for this week. Sorry it was a bit longer this time, but hey, you know. Next week we're going to yeah. be doing uh, The Happening, which you can watch mm. Disney Plus if you want to watch it. Man, Disney Plus, again, Disney Disney are popping up. You know that yeah, they've got man. the, um, I think the new se- the last season of Walking Dead premieres on Disney Plus. Oh, really? On their, on their star thing. Damn. I saw something about that. I think it does. Might have to fact check me, but I think it does. They're really popping off. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Disney taking over the ro- over the world, like yeah, yeah. Uh, over Lord Disney Mickey, State. you know, yeah. praise our Lord Mickey. You <laughs> know. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Don't start this. We're gonna we're gonna go we've got to have a, we've got to yeah. have something like a Disney film <laughs> or something so we could do that. That'd be so funny. Uh, but yeah, uh, if you want to keep up to date with us, we're on Instagram and Twitter at Bad Film Good or One Word. Uh, we have an email mm-hmm. if you want to write in and give us a real dumb shit of your own. Then you can find us at Bad Film Good uh, at Gmail dot com. Uh, so send us in. <laughs> yeah. At, at Bad Film at Bad Film Good at Bad Film Gmail at, at, at Bad Film and Good Film <laughs> at Two Film Three Film. 
<laughs> Red film, blue film. <laughs> <laughs> it's badfilmgood at gmail.com. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, if you want to help us out, you can tell a friend uh, or give us a five star review on whatever Just scat you're to a listening friend. to. Yeah. <laughs> scat tell, to a a friend, friend. tell a friend. Tell tell a friend all about your family. Tell, and how much yeah. family is important <laughs> to you, and then g- give them this podcast without any yeah. explanation, <laughs> and then never speak them. to them again. Yeah. On a memory stick, just throw it. Put it. Lock it into. Lock it in a vault. Yeah. Have and then as you walk complex. away, just play and yeah. see you again out loud. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> thanks for listening. As always, we're going to end with an inspirational quote from Inspirabot. It's a yeah. random generated image with a randomly generated quote. Do you want to go first or should I go first? I'll, I'll, I'll go first because mine's kind of interesting <laughs> okay. and sort of funny, I guess. I mean, it's. I'm going to say the quote first this time. It, it just says, family life is not family life. <laughs> and in the background, the reason I chose it is because the, the picture is just like a, a very muscly naked man who's, <laughs> who's like covering his, it's only kind of like from the, from his, um, his thighs upwards. He's like <laughs> right. covering his crotch, but he's like being Thanos. He's like, he's like, like being dusted and like half of his body is kind of being like faded away as he's like, it's just so obscure. I don't understand. And then it's like family life is not family life. And also I just realized it, it fits with the theme. It fits so with the theme. So it fits yeah, with the theme. Family life is not family life. Scoobity boop bap. Scoobity deep that boop. Okay. My one is just, it's a guy in like a hazmat suit. And it's kind of like all smoky around him. So I don't really know what he's been getting into. Uh, but yeah. the quote says, is polyamory chill? <laughs> is it? Is it I don't chill? Know. <laughs> is this not allowed? Like, not like, do people find it acceptable or whatever? Yeah, it's yeah. Like, is it chill? Is it chill? <laughs> like, is this good? Are we good to... Hey, is that kind of chill? <laughs> can I have more than one partner? Can, is, that, is that all good? Hey. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we'll leave that. Uh, we'll leave you to decide on that. So... Thanks for listening. Yeah, yeah. We'll and, uh, we'll we'll see you next week. See you next week. <laughs> that, 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 that. <laughs> <laughs> Get all the memes into uh, the uh, family, family, and uh, the other and, one. Uh, uh, I always uh, love my family. the moon in the It's Peter Pan or whatever the bear was. <laughs> <laughs> I've forgotten already. <laughs> <Okay>. Bye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> yeah.